was uh, a good good weekend uh, overall. Uh, well, as with any weekend, there's ups and downs. Um, uh, with my son racing, I had a lot of work because he uh, tossed it on the ground, so I had to fix some stuff. And uh, I showed up and had a problem with my uh, 600 uh, right out of the gate on Friday. Um, so I was unable to use that all weekend. So uh, GTL uh, went good right away. Um, just uh, try to conserve energy. I'm not, uh, I ride a lot of races, so I use a lot of energy during the weekend. So uh, I uh, try to conserve energy. We won. Uh, we tried out some new tires from Dunlop. Uh, excellent. Um, rest of the day went okay. And then the dash is the last race of the day. Uh, without my 600, I was a little underpowered on my 565, the detuned uh, R6. And uh, we still went good. Uh, we, we were battling for second the whole way. I just didn't have a little bit of squirt at the end to get by. We ended up third. I'll take that for the first weekend. Uh, the weather was good. It wasn't as hot as it's going to be this weekend. But uh, it was a good weekend overall. So round one went pretty well, uh, you know. Got a first, second, third, and a fourth. I made history uh, by setting or doing two warm-up laps. Uh, brain fart happened, but uh, yeah, I got back down to a 14.8 in the dash for cash on the Motard. Finished up second in the GTL, two seconds behind Ricky. Had a strong, uh, decent start out in third. Made my way up to the pa uh, front halfway through the race and was struggling with suspension. We made it a lot stiffer and uh, didn't really work out as well. So me and my dad have been making changes and testing stuff today. and. You know, hopefully those changes that we make today will make a big difference in the GTL tomorrow and hopefully be able to beat Ricky tomorrow. Um, yeah, so basically Super Street's like uh, kind of in between real racing and just regular track days. You don't need a full race prep bike to, uh, to ride in Super Street. Um, it's, it's more for fun. Um, you know, it's club racing. There's not, um, there's not like big cash prizes at the end. Um, yeah, and basically, if you don't have, if you don't want to fully commit to like a race prepped bike, um, Super Street's a good way to try it out. Plans for the future are uh, just keep having fun. You know, uh, me and Scotty been doing this a long time, and. Uh, uh, I did win 100 last year, uh, and then Scotty immediately went out and won 100, and then 101 after me. Uh, my son actually took two of them away from me, so uh, I'm still behind. Uh, but, uh, you know, Scotty's going to go until he makes 150, I think, and uh, I don't think I'm going to be there for that. But uh, we're going to keep going until we uh, ain't having fun. Yeah, so basically this season, this might be my last race in Super Street. I've done a few, so I'm qualified for a, a race license, but I don't have a bike prepped yet. Uh, with everything, big shortages on everything, I've been waiting for 12, 13 weeks on race body work to come in for my other bike. Um, and yeah, hopefully I'll get the novice license, go do the rookie race and continue the season uh, under a race license once I get my other bike prepped. Yeah, I was very happy with the result in the super singles to be third with these young fast guys at six years old. It, it was a great day. Maybe pick up the pace a little bit and just have fun. That, that's what it's all about to me anyway, so that's it. Yeah, the KTM 450 SMR 21-22, great bike out of the box, seems to have plenty of power and buy it and race it. I had an amazing weekend last weekend, it was probably my best so far. Um, I was able to win my first expert race in the GT500, which was a really long race, but it was a lot of fun. And it gave me a lot more experience leading laps, and I was able to use that to my advantage in the 500 Superbike race at the end of the weekend, where I was able to get a decent lead and go back into the 18 lap times, and I was able to get the win. Um, 500 Supersport didn't go great for me, I was leading most of the race until the last corner but one of my teammates passed me and I learned that I need to change up how I approach racecraft. It's just something that I haven't experienced a lot lately so I had to make a change and I used that in 500 Superbike to rebound and get the win. 
So round one went pretty good. Um, three podiums out of the four races that I ran uh, and a crash, unfortunately. Uh, crash was in 500 Super Sport. Um, we were a couple laps in and battling for the lead with Rene. And uh, you know, she took a lapper on the inside of 10. He kind of, he moved over, did a good job. And uh, you know she checked up a little bit because she was kind of tight coming through there. And I thought I could pass them both right here and take the lead. And uh, you know, sure enough, I was a little bit offline, hit a seam. You know, it was, it was cold from round one, and uh, hit a seam, and it spit me off. You know, like you know, before I could even think about it. But uh, you know, not too bad. The rest, you know, two seconds and a third for the rest of the weekend, so not bad. So round one, it was a great round. I got a new personal best for the first round. That's like a great accomplishment for me. It's what I was looking for. I got a 20 point or one minute, 20 second. So that was a great accomplishment for me and um, it felt really great. And uh, we made some uh, improvements to the bike for this um, this next round. Like we got graphics and obviously you got to crash when you first get your graphics to just break them in. That's just how it's got to work. So uh, yeah, it was great first round and um, um, yeah, like 500 Super Sport, I uh, came out of the gate. I was actually doing really good. I went into third off the start, and then me and Jacob were going back and forth, and um, it was actually a really great race. And, uh, you know, we um, know, we just kept going back and forth, and he ultimately got the third place, so I got down to fourth. But, uh, yeah, it was, it was great, and everything felt good. Setup feels great. Tires are amazing. So, uh, yeah, it was... It was good. My plan for the year is, uh, you know, I, I definitely want to compete in all my classes. So, uh, you know, GT 500, 500 Super Sport, 500 Super Bike, and Moto 3 this year. Uh, you know, I want to compete for, for the title or the, you know, top three and, uh, you know, go faster. You know, 18s or better would be, uh, is the goal. Um, I'm doing low 19s right now, you know, pretty pretty decent. Um, but 18s are better. Is is uh, we already know that the benchmark is is quite a bit more than that. But um, I think I can compete pretty well in 18s. So I think the biggest difference between how I was riding last year versus how I'm riding now is just first confidence. I gained a lot of confidence in one of my rides last year and that was able to make me feel like I can go a lot faster than I was going at the time. So I've used that to try to improve my race craft, improve how I'm riding and I just feel really relaxed and comfortable on this new bike. Um, it's super amazing. I mean the suspension's incredible. I just love how it handles and I think that's made a big progress in how I'm riding because when you're comfortable you ride a lot better. So oh this season's it's gonna be a big one so well I'm just hoping to uh, be more consistent and stay in like the 20 range and um, you know just keep consistent times and then eventually work down to 19s like work down to 19 second and maybe even 18 so we'll see how that goes and um, yeah I'm hoping to like finish on some podiums in expert class and uh, you know just have fun riding my motorcycle is really what we're all here to do so that's what I'm gonna try and uh, yeah it should be a great season. Um, so first off I want to thank the Penguin Road Racing School. I wouldn't be here without their guidance and Eric has been an awesome coach. My teammates have pushed me and that's been great. I want to thank Bell Helmets. They hooked me up with a really good helmet after last weekend's win so thanks to them. Spears Racing, Woodcraft Technologies, Dunlop Tires really came through this year and I love them. Um, Eric Block has been huge for my program, REB Graphics, Innovative Motorsports, Bob Stengel has been awesome and supported me for a long time, um, and my parents and everybody that supported me through the good and the bad. Yeah, the secret to the uh, fast lap is uh, just basically hitting all your marks and being smooth. You know, this track is a little technical and um, it can get you quick, you know, if you're, if you're not where you're supposed to be. Um, as long as you hit all your marks and uh, stay focused, consistent, consistency is uh, how you go fast here. It's, uh, it's a little tricky, but uh, uh, if you slow everything down, you go real fast here. And it's, uh, it's a, the greatest place to race anywhere. I love this place. 
sitting to a fast lap is loud and is, uh, you know, it's never going to be smooth. It's always going to be, you're always going to be chattering. You're always going to be pushing. You want to hit your marks every single lap. Every corner, you want to be hitting the apex, getting on the gas, maybe 10, 15 feet before every apex. It's, um, it's always, it's a full send every lap. It's definitely... It's so rewarding at the end of it, especially when you get down lower to track record times because you've worked so hard and the fact is that you're pushing and giving everything you've got that it just means so much because it's, it's scary. It's to the point where it's really scary. So you gotta give it your all. You gotta make sure you're perfect and if you do all that, then I guess you might have a fast lap allowed. seen this year so that was a challenge in itself and always uh, the competition tricky dick is very tough uh, Eli block has uh, come up on his dirt bike incredibly well very very tough to uh, to deal with as they're very fast competitors uh, my old, old bike we got it going pretty good I have raced one of these in multiple different years so it seems like old home uh, it's quick it's good you know the guys at Seacoast make sure I've got uh, everything I can have to to do that that well without help like that you you you, you don't go too far then I get it there the race itself uh, it's a long race so you have to pace yourself and think about you have to have a plan it isn't a sprint race you you have to look at the competition gauge it get out there run a little bit run smooth and fast but you're really not pushing yourself incredibly hard unless you want to make a break and be that guy that tries to make a break and, and lose them all but sometimes that can go horribly wrong on hot days as you wear out and your tires may so I just stayed with the, kind of with the pack and let things you know go till about the halfway then it's you start to get into the lap traffic which are the small bikes and they can really uh, dice things up quite a bit so once we got kind of there I had a faller in nine uh, that's uh, Bill Cool and then uh, so I got that spot quite easily then made the pass on uh, Eli I think it was uh, going up the hill up four and then the rest was just run run the laps and uh, use my much larger horsepower bike than his dirt bike to stay in front of the young man and that was pretty much it 
So uh, GTL, gridded on the front row. Um, very excited, uh, though it didn't get a, the best start ever. Slotted in uh, third place behind Eli Block and my teammate Nick Layton. And uh, we passed Nick probably on the fourth lap. So it was just uh, head down and trying to chase Eli after that. And um, I stayed with Eli for pretty much half the race. It was very exciting to be there. Um, I know he's hit 14s on that Motard, so I was feeling pretty good uh, despite the heat and everything. And I thought, well, I'm pretty close to him. I, I should see what I can do and try to push a little bit more. <clears throat> and uh, we pushed too much. Uh, turn nine, uh, was waiting for a little bit of feedback from the tire and just didn't get it today. Uh, heard that from some other riders as well and uh, lost the front end in turn nine. Uh, didn't pick it back up again, so uh, low sided. Pretty easy crash, but uh, it did break a, a couple pieces on the bike that meant that we weren't able to, to get back into the uh, race and, and finish. So not the best uh, result out of the beginning of the weekend that I hoped for. However, uh, I did uh, hit a bunch of laps in the 15s, a uh, couple new PBs, so very excited about that. And uh, though it doesn't look like it, the bike will be ready tomorrow. Um, all the hard parts are, are back together. We're just doing a little bit of body work fixes right now. So excited to go out and uh, run in Supersport tomorrow. Plans for the season. Uh, my son races here as well. I've uh, brought another junkie to the to the arena. I like to say uh, he, he's uh, been doing it for quite a few years now. So it's kind of a father son thing. We 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 enjoy. So I'll be here as long as uh, he wants to be here. I've been here for 31 years. This marks this year. So yeah, it's uh, I love it and uh, sometimes hate it, but really it's a uh, it's a true disease and I am an official junkie and love it. So. I'll I'll be here all year racing this thing as much as we can for as long as she stays together. I had a great race in the 500 Super Sport race and all day today in the GT500 race. Um, I was able to pick up both wins and the 500 Super Sport race I was able to get a whole shot which it's been a long time since I've been able to do that. Um, but yeah, and I was able to try to work on my approach to leading to try to keep pushing myself and unfortunately the race got red flagged so I hope everyone's okay but I had a lot of fun and I'm looking forward to applying some changes for tomorrow. Yes, uh, 100 was the number I was aiming for. Now, uh, not so much any more numbers, just uh, riding and having fun as long as I can.